Welcome to Wednesday. School away from school. All right. Yeah. We got to get fired up here. I mean, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a great day today. And what is today? Wednesday. What is Wednesday? Chapel. And you know what? I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people that do not have their ties on. Way to go, Abed. And uh, so, yeah, yeah. I hope that you got up this morning, you took off your pajamas, and you put on your chapels. Clothes. All right. Well, we're going to start out. It's good to have everybody here today. We've got a lot of people watching online, and I just appreciate that so much. But uh, we're going to start with our pledges, and then we're going to uh, get into the day's message, and we're going to go from there. All right, everybody got your Bible? All right. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make a lamp under my feet and a light under my path. I will hide its word in my heart that I might not sin against God. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, turn in your Bibles, if you will, to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, we're going to be looking at right away. <clears throat> I hope that you enjoy having devotions with us every morning, because I enjoy doing them. And uh, we've had a lot of people comment, uh, sending emails and texts and, and all kinds of other things, that uh, um, we need to uh, continue to do this, and it's really kind of cool. I uh, um, uh, appreciate all that are, are watching, and uh, so we can do it now, it's just a watch, but um, I'm excited about it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. This morning, the title of this morning's message is, Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. We need to take in, uh, um, uh, in the times that we're living right now, it's hard to put our trust in the government or in law enforcement or in teachers or even the pastor because we're all so far away from each other. But we're living in a time like no other time in the history of the world. Uh, if you look at, at social media, you'll read one thing, and if you listen to the news, you'll hear something totally different. But who do you trust? Who do you trust? You know, who is there that we can actually put 100% of our trust in? You know, let's look at um, Psalms chapter 37. We're going to be looking at Psalms chapter 37. I want you to keep in mind Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 as we go through this. But we're going to be looking at Psalms 37 this morning. And I want to show you some things in Psalms 37 that I believe that we can take and trust in. And uh, um, it's going to help us to get through this uh, uh, coronavirus. And uh, no, it's not corolla, it's corona. But anyway, but... I went and I said that the other night. I said, uh, well, uh, we've got the coronavirus. And somebody goes, huh? I said, yeah, it's a coronavirus. They said, you mean you get it on crayons? I said, yeah, you get it on everything, you know. So, but, <clears throat> okay, the first thing we need to do is we, we are um, to fret not thyself. We are not, um, we're to fret not thyself. Psalms chapter 37, verses 1 and 2 says this, it says, Fret not thyself because of, of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, 
and wither as the green herb. You know, the word fret here means to don't sweat the little things. Um, we should try, uh, we should not worry about what others may say about us or what they say are going to hurt us or anything else. We need to keep our heads up and we need to look to God for all of our guidance. We should not try to do things on our own. We should take in, uh, uh, when bad things happen to us, listen, don't sweat the little things. Sweat the big things. We used to have a, um, a student that came to uh, school and he was always depressed. Just totally depressed all the time. And I said, what's the matter? And he was telling me what was wrong in his life and this and that. And I said, hey, I said, those are all little things. Don't sweat the little things. Sweat the big things. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I said, if you were in the hospital and you were dying, that's a big thing. I said, these little things that you just told me about, they're just little things. Don't sweat them. God will take care of them. And uh, we need to realize that we shouldn't uh, uh, sweat the little things. We need to take and trust in God. The second thing is this. We need to trust in the Lord. In Psalms 37, uh, verse 3, it says, Trust in the Lord and do good, so that thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Um, we need to put our total trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, not in man. You know, this virus that we're, that's all around us is bad, but I'm going to put your, are you going to put the, your trust in the Lord to get you through it? Or are you going to put your trust in someone who doesn't have any idea what's going on to get you through it? What we need to realize is we need to take and put our trust in the Lord. You know, um, I'm not going to take and depend on the government or my friends or my family to get me through this. I'm going to trust in the Lord to try to get me through this whole thing. Um, the third thing is this. We need to delight in the Lord. We need to delight in the Lord. In Psalms 37 verse 4, it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. The word delight here means uh, a high degree of pleasure or satisf satisfaction of mind or joy. You know, we're to have joy or pleasure in the Lord. We need to want to serve him in what uh, he would have us to do and what, he, what we, uh, he'd have us to say. We need to do things that will bring him joy or pleasure and not ourselves. You know, if we, if we bring God delight, if we make him smile, I mean, isn't that what life's all about? Aren't we to take and bring joy to the Lord? If you do, he's going to bring us joy too. You know, there's a good chance if we bring him joy, we may not get this virus. That would be cool, wouldn't it? You know, what we need to realize is we need to take and delight in the Lord. or We need to uh, bring joy uh, to the Lord. The fourth thing is this. Commit our ways unto the Lord. Psalm 37, verse 5, it says, Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You know, we are to commit our ways or our works unto the Lord. Everything we do needs to be committed to the Lord. Our schoolwork needs to be committed to the Lord. Uh, your time on the internet needs to be committed to the Lord. Your entertainment needs to be committed to the Lord. The music you listen to needs to be committed to the Lord. Your fishing needs to be committed to the Lord. Right, Zach? Did you guys have fun fishing yesterday? Yeah, there you go. Your dad's going, yeah. You know, I saw that and I'm going, I don't know why they didn't invite me. I don't know along with them. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what we need to do is we need to commit our ways unto the Lord. Everything that we do, we need to commit unto the Lord. Everything. You know, it doesn't make any difference. When you sit down and you're doing your pace work, the first thing you need to do is pray and say, Dear God, help me to get everything learned today that I need to get learned. You need to commit your ways or what you're doing unto the Lord. <clears throat> the fifth thing is this. We need to rest in the Lord. Psalm 37, 7 says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. 
Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. What does it mean to rest in the Lord? Do you know what I think it is? I think you're supposed to get your pillow and you're supposed to lay right down beside him. Isn't that resting in the Lord? That's what I like to do. I mean, how many of you like to sleep in in the morning? I do. But you know what? I have two alarm clocks. I have one that's about this long and she's black and white. And I've got another one that's about this long and this wide. And he, uh, he will uh, wake you up no matter what. But I can't sleep in in the morning because Lucy and Max are there and they want my attention. I can't rest because of them. I'll take and I'll be sound asleep at night and all of a sudden I can feel a little nose up against my nose. And I open my eyes up and here's Lucy looking right at me. Is shivering. Is just say, would you mind putting me underneath the covers? I'm cold. You know, what we need to realize is that we need rest, but the rest we really need is in the Lord. We need to do the things that, that pertain to God. You know, <clears throat> we need to be still and know that He is God. Quietly submit to His will. And uh, we need to acquire in all the uh, dispensations of his, of his providence. We need to be quiet and listen to his still small voice. You know, this is a perfect time to do that. You know that? Because we're supposed to be what? Locked in our homes. You know, we're supposed to be homebound, so to speak. What better time to spend in God's word than when you don't have a whole lot else to do? Shut the TV off. Shut the, the, the computer down. And get into God's word. And I guarantee you're going to have a better life ahead. The sixth thing is this. Wait patiently for him. Psalm 37, 7 says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who possesseth it in his ways, prospereth in his way, uh, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. In the world that we live in, we want it now, and we want it our way. I always call it the Burger King mentality. I want it now, and I want it my way. You know, I don't want lettuce on my burger. I don't want mayonnaise on my burger. I don't want any of this stuff on my burger. Ah, oh, but can you grab my glasses? I don't want any of that stuff on my, and I want it my way. I don't want it the way they normally make it. How many of you like two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles on, an, on a sesame seed bun? How many of you like that? Who can tell me what that is? It's a what? A Big Mac. It's a Big Mac. Hey, two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles on a sesame seed bun. You know, that's a Big Mac. Listen. We want things our way, though, because I don't like their special sauce. So guess what? I just want two wall beef patties mm, on a sesame seed bun. You know, lettuce and pickles, too. No lettuce, but pickles and tomato. Anyway, but we want things our way. You know, what we need to realize is we, we need to live patiently. You know, um, we need to let go, and we need to let God take care of things. You know, um, God does not operate in the same time frame that we do. What I mean by that is that, you know, God many times will take his time answering our prayer. You know, I've been praying and praying and praying that this virus would get over soon. Yeah, I was praying that we could be back to school this last Monday. But you know what? It didn't happen. Why? Because I don't work on the same time frame as what God does. God's going to take care of this virus one day. He is. But we don't know exactly when it will be. And until that time, we need to just patiently 
do what he wants us to do. You know, all of the teachers are here, and, and uh, we're here to take and help, you know, wh however we can. But, you know, in conclusion, let's look at the verse that we started with, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. You know, we are to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. We're to trust him with all that he wants us to trust him with. You know, he wants us to trust him with our food, with our health, with our friends. He wants us to trust him with everything. We're not to lean on our own understanding. Don't do things on your own. Wait for the Lord to give you the answer in your life. You know, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. We are to give him the praise for the things that he's done for us. Give him the joy and the pleasure only he deserves to have. You know, on Monday we did a uh, um, on Monday we did a, uh, a devotion on good and bad. If you were watching on Monday and you saw the devotion, we had some good things and we had some bad things. And when, if you put the good things and the bad things together, I'll tell you what, we made the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever eaten. They were great. You missed them if you weren't here. No. But we, uh, um, you know, I ate a lot of them. I did. They were good. But, you know, what we need to realize is that we need to acknowledge him. We need to give God praise in the good times and in the bad. Why? Because when you bring it all together in one, that makes your perfect life. And that's what God wants. The last part of this is, and he shall direct your paths. He will show us what he is ahead of us, and he will lead us into the places he wants us to go. You know, that, that, I think that's the greatest thing, is that we're not to take and drive the train in our life. God is. And if we let God drive the train, if we let God be the conductor, and we just sit back and let him drive the train, we're going to have a whole lot better life. We're going to do things so much better. But we have to let go and let God take care of it. You know, I, there's not one thing I can do about this coronavirus. Not one thing. There's, the only thing I can do is keep away from Miss Nancy so that she doesn't, uh, you know, give it to me and uh, uh, things like that. You know, she just walked in the door. She's late, but that's okay. She's the administrator. She can do what she wants, you know. She had a baby last night. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, Victor and Kathy had their baby last night. How big was it? Six pounds, five ounces, 24 inches long. Oh, 21 inches long. It was, it's almost big enough to walk. And we just want to congratulate, congratulate them on their new arrival. But we need to let go and let God have control of our life. Uh, none of us can get rid of this virus. Only God can. We just need to trust in him and he will take care of the little things and the big things. So remember to trust in the Lord. You don't want to miss tomorrow's uh, devotional. It's going to be a good one. And you want to uh, tune in for that tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Let's have a word of prayer. And then we've got some announcements. Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for all that you've done for us. I pray now that you'll guide and direct our steps today. Father, you say in your word that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. We just pray that you'll order our steps today, that everything that we do will be for your honor and your glory. We love you. We thank you for what you've done for us. We pray now for all the students. We just pray, Lord, that you'll help them to get their pace work done, <clears throat> help them to get uh, everything ready so they can come in and take their tests and uh, um, get new paces and just continue on just like they always have. Father, we thank you for loving us. We know that we just need to take and trust in you, and you'll take care of everything. Just be with us now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
All right. Now, as you can see on the board, L O U. That's a U, not a V. That's a U. L O U. All right. Now, today, if you call in and say, hey, I know what that word is, you'll get 10 points. Tomorrow, if we put the third one up and you haven't called in and told us what the word was, guess what? You don't get any points. You'll want to get points because some of the prizes we have are just really, really going to be nice. They really are. I mean, we're looking at uh, possibly getting makeup for the girls so that we can hide whatever they have on their face, whatever they have, you know what I mean? And uh, we're going to buy uh, a cologne for the boys so that they don't smell, you know what I mean? No, we're not going to do that. But we've got a lot of prizes and stuff that we're going to be giving out. So make sure that you guess uh, what the word is. Uh, also, as soon as you get to your self-test, you call us so we can get you in here to get your um, uh, self-test done, your test done, and give you new paces. Um, we're going to take and try to have uh, everything up and, and running by Monday on... Uh, on schoolhouse, and so, I think it's schoolhouse, right? Classroom. Oh, classroom. Yeah, I knew it was something like, it has something to do with the school, okay? Classroom on uh, Google, and uh, so it's, uh, get over here. Come here. You're the administrator. Here, you, no, don't, don't faint, but here's Miss Nancy. <laughs> Just a reminder to you parents, have all the paces done up to the self uh, self test so that way you're not having to come in three or four times a week that way we give other kids chance to come in when they're done so finish all your paces up to the self test not just one or two at a time okay so anything else you want to tell them? um no that's it just miss you guys can't wait to see you all guys get your work done love you guys all right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're uh, we're looking forward to uh, um, every day, and uh, um, you know we do. Believe it or not, we miss each of you. We really do. We wish you all were here, and uh, but we're doing the best that we possibly can with what we have. And uh, so let's have a word of prayer, and then we're going to be dismissed. And we've got some students here today that are going to be taking tests, and. Um, We've got some other students that will be in later on to take tests, so let's pray. Father, thank you so much for all you've done for us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for us being able to trust you. We know that if we put our whole trust in you, that everything will work out fine. We just pray now for the many across the, the world that has this virus, Lord, and we just pray that you take and heal them bo their bodies and guide and direct them. We we think of this evangelist that has it, and he's on a ventilator now, and we think of the two pastors that um, we know that are, uh, have it and, and uh, are in the hospital. We just pray, Lord, that you'd be with them. Be with everybody, Lord. Guide them and direct them. And Father, we pray for the health care workers. We pray for first responders. We pray for the food bank, Lord. We just pray that we'll be able to have enough food to feed everybody. And Father, we just thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Be with the students now, Lord, as they... Uh, do their pace work today and get everything accomplished. We just thank you so much for loving us and all you've done. And we'll give the praise and thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. You guys all have a good day today. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.